Hello everybody. So today I'm going to demonstrate you how to convert a MATLAB function to a simulink block. So that's what we're going to do now. So first of all, you need to open a simulink library browser and choose user-defined functions in it. You'll find MATLAB function. So you need to create an empty model and drag this MATLAB function into it. So now it has just dragged into it. What you can do is <coughs> double click on this to open in the editor so that you can write whatever the function you want to put into that block. So I'm going to use temperature conversion formula of Celsius to foreign heat. So <coughs> this is a formula you can find online anywhere. So F is equals to C into 9 by 5 plus 32 so that's what I've written here so I'm taking the input as C and converting that to F by using this simple formula okay now you save it it automatically saves with the name so here is a function just like this so this is what we have added now you need to connect a few more blocks to it to perform the functionality so here is my constant input and here is my display output okay you can find them in the sources and sinks in the sources you'll find this constant block and the, in the sinks you'll find this display so you just need to connect here in order to see the output and change the input so additionally I've, I'm using this slider provided in the dashboard so you can see in the dashboard the slider so you just drag it onto your palette so here it is you need to connect by double clicking on this and just by clicking it it will be appeared and you need to click on this connect so that it will be connected and you can specify the range of the minimum and maximum value of the slider so that's how it works and click on ok it will be connected to this block now we can change the value so that it will be displayed here as well as the value affected by this function and so on okay now let me run this for you and see how it works okay click on the this run button now uh, for 29 degrees celsius so uh, value for Fahrenheit is 85.36 now change this value something else now it is 50 and it is 122 and go higher and you get the higher value go lower and you get the lower value that's how it works so we have created a simulating block from MATLAB function what you need to have is an input variable and an output variable that's all so you need to know what the function you are writing for just write in the editor box and save it, it automatically saves into this block. You need to connect the inputs and see the outputs. That's all. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.